I found a spot that had quite a bit of white water and below it uh, there was a rock break in the current. What I wanted to do was cast upstream from the white water, let my fly drift onto the white water so the fly would get sucked under and get very deep. At that point I hooked the fish, it almost like felt like, like a little bit of a snag but I knew it was a fish. Um, I was using a pretty soft rod made for smaller fish and this one was close to 20 inches um, so I really had to control where the fish was gonna go so that I could win the fight. Uh, with Tenkara it does take a lot of a different type of sensitivity to know how much strength the fish has at the point and to lead him to the place you want to lead him. So in this case I was trying to have him pendicular to the current and I was guiding him to the calmest water I could and not putting a whole lot of pressure because if you put a lot of pressure the fish will tend to run the other way and I think that might have been one of the nice things about the very flexible rod. The fish probably never felt a whole lot of pressure and I was able to slowly guide him to where I wanted and the fish was really strong still. Um, you know it was a really quick fight for a 20 inch fish uh, and when I released him I could feel that he was still full of energy and it didn't take long at all for him to go away. It was a, it was a really nice fight. Daniel, can you bring him over here? So I think I got the fly out. And I like to keep it upside down for a second to handle him. And then put it in the water and just let him gain his strength. And don't, swim, don't let him swim right away. Just wait until he's pretty strong to swim out. He wants to go, but uh, I'll just wait a few seconds and let him go. Good work. Woof! Another big one. <laughs>